U.S. defense further decouples from CCP supply chains the impact of banning Chinese-made batteries. Introduction In a significant move aimed at bolstering its supply chain resilience and reducing reliance on potential adversaries, the United States Department of Defense DOD, has taken a decisive step to prohibit the procurement of batteries from six Chinese companies. This comprehensive ban is part of a broader effort to safeguard national security and promote domestic industrial capabilities. In this article, we will delve into the implications of this decision on the global battery industry, the U.S. defense supply chain, and the broader geopolitical landscape. The ban, a strategic shift in defense procurement, the U.S. Congress, in its 2024 National Defense Authorization Act NDA, has mandated the DAW to cease the purchase of batteries from Ning Thames, BYD, and four other Chinese companies starting in October 2027. This prohibition extends beyond direct DAW procurement, encompassing any contracts or subcontracts involving these Chinese entities. The move aims to mitigate potential vulnerabilities arising from dependence on foreign suppliers, particularly those with TS2 countries deemed to pose national security risks. Impact on the battery industry The DOS ban has far-reaching implications for the global battery industry, which has witnessed China's growing dominance in recent years. Chinese companies currently hold a commanding share of the global battery market, particularly in the production of lithium-ion batteries used in electric vehicles, consumer electronics, and energy storage systems. The ban effectively cuts off a major source of supply for the U.S. defense sector, compelling it to seek alternatives from domestic or allied manufacturers. This presents a significant challenge for the U.S. battery industry, which has lagged behind its Chinese counterparts in terms of scale and technological advancement. However, it also creates opportunities for domestic companies to fill the void left by the Chinese suppliers. The Biden administration has recognized this potential and allocated substantial funding to support research and development in battery technologies, aiming to revitalize the domestic battery manufacturing sector. Implications for the U.S. defense supply chain The DOS ban on Chinese batteries has immediate consequences for its supply chain. The department is one of the largest consumers of batteries, with an annual budget of over 800 million billion. The ban necessitates the identification and the qualification of new suppliers that can meet the DOS stringent requirements for quality, performance, and security. While the transition may pose initial challenges, it also offers an opportunity to enhance the resilience and diversity of the U.S. defense supply chain. By reducing reliance on a single country, the DOT can mitigate risks associated with geopolitical tensions, supply chain disruptions, and potential intellectual property theft. Geopolitical ramifications The ban on Chinese batteries is not merely an economic decision, it carries significant geopolitical undertones. It signals the U.S. government's growing concerns about China's technological advancements, particularly in critical industries such as battery manufacturing. The move is part of a broader strategy to decouple the U.S. economy from China, reduce vulnerabilities to potential coercion, and maintain technological superiority in key areas. This decoupling effort is not limited to the defense sector. The Biden administration has taken steps to strengthen domestic supply chains in other strategic industries, including semiconductors, rare earth minerals, and artificial intelligence. 
These actions reflect a broader shift in U.S. foreign policy, prioritizing economic security and reducing reliance on potentially adversarial nations. Conclusion: The dots ban on Chinese batteries is a watershed moment in U.S.-China relations and a significant step toward decoupling the two countries' economies. The ban will have a profound impact on the global battery industry, the U.S. defense supply chain, and the geopolitical landscape. The U.S. government's strategic move is intended to enhance national security, promote domestic innovation in critical technologies, and reduce dependence on potential adversaries. While the transition may initially pose challenges, it also presents opportunities for domestic companies to step up and fill the void left by Chinese suppliers. The ban on Chinese batteries is a clear indication of the U.S. government's determination to safeguard its economic and national security interests in the face of a rising technological and geopolitical challenge from China. It remains to be seen how China will respond to this latest move and whether it will escalate tensions between the two countries. If you found this analysis helpful, remember to like, share, and destroy that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the latest current affairs and insightful analysis on the Capture the Intelligence channel. Join us on this journey as we navigate the ever-changing landscape of global politics and international relations. Your support and engagement are invaluable to us. Let's continue the conversation and explore the complexities of the world together.